What's up guys? The Cinephile Maniac here. And uh, sorry I haven't done vi any videos in a while. There just hasn't been much. I haven't gotten really hardly anything that was worth unboxing or um, doing a review on. So I just haven't done any videos. But uh, I have something today that I would like to review to you guys. So let's get into it. Okay, so we have a f my new um, aquarium filter. Well, it's not new. I've had it for a few months, but uh, um, and actually, um, I've been having kind of some problems with it. Um, just mainly the noise. Like, I'll shut up and I'll let you guys hear it. Yeah, so I don't know if you can hear it much, but, uh, it's not, like, extremely loud, but I know the Aqua Clear, when I had an Aqua Clear, it was much quieter than this. You couldn't even hear it running. Um, and, I mean, yeah, so, and supposedly, this is a, flu this is a Fluval C4, but there's other Fluvals, like, there's the C2 and then the C3, um, but I got this one because more filtration, but, um, yeah, um, supposedly these are supposed to be quiet as well, like silent, but I have read a few reviews that people have said that they are loud and noisy, and they're right, um, so I don't know where, I don't know how some of these other people got silent ones, but I got a noisy one, and, like, the one I had before, which was the C3, it was a little bit louder than this, which is one of the reasons why I returned it. Um, cause it was just loud, like, I mean, a at night, when I would try to sleep, I had to just, you know, I, I had to unplug it or just try to tune it out because it was just, it was so loud it overpowered my TV, like, yeah. So then I got this one thinking it would be quieter, not, not because it's bigger, but just because I figured I would try another one, maybe the other one was faulty, but nope. This one's a little noisy too, and I have tried everything. I've tried unplugging it and plugging it back in a few times. I've tried, um, I've tried silicone grease and Vaseline on the impeller shaft and the impeller itself, and that didn't do anything. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up with it, but uh, I mean, other than that, it's a great filter. I mean, if you can bypass the, if you can get past the noise, you know, if it doesn't bother you, then. It's a great filter overall, um, and I actually like it better than the Aqua Clear. Not not because of the noise, of course, because Aqua Clears, I mean, you can't even hear them when they're on. But I like it because how how convenient and easy it is for me to use. Like here, let me explain. Like the top here comes off, and bear with me, guys. I'm one-handed, so I don't know. I'm using one hand to hold the phone and do this. So bear with me. So the lid comes off. And then you have inside here, and so there's the intake tube right there. And then so this piece right here, this is the bio, this is the uh, biochemical filtration chamber. So let me open this up. Let me put the here. Let me try to, but here. You open it right here. This little tab here. Open. Just push that back. Sorry, like I said, guys, I'm trying to do this with one hand. And when you push that little and push this little tab back, push it towards the wall or the back of the filter, and then you just let me lift this up. Dang it. Anyway, so yeah, so there's the bio media right there, and then you just. Push it back down. Just push it back down until you hear it click like that. And then this little white thing up here, it's um it's like an extra filtration. It's supposed to like stop all the like whatever the filter picks up, like hair or or gook or whatever picks up, it's supposed to catch it right here so it doesn't go in uh, into the biomedia. Um some people have said that this actually clogs up 
and the water doesn't flow very well to the biomedia and that they don't they don't really see you know the benefit of it but I just keep it on because I like it because I like having that that extra protection for the biomedia and stuff so yeah um, but so as you can see it has a little thing right here a little handle you just lift this up I don't want to lift it up because I don't want to because I it's gonna be hard to do that because it's heavy but anyway you just you just grab a hold of this and you just lift it up out of the filter and then you can do what you need to do with with that and rinse out the media and stuff and then the same with this red thing down here all I have this is a this little red thing um, let me see if I can yeah here we go so yeah so that red thing is another like um, box chamber type thing and all I have in here is um, purigen and extra of the uh, bio media in there. Um, but it, but yeah. So you just lift up that red tab there, and then you pull that out. Once you pull this out, or you could pull them out together. I've seen people do that. But um, so you just pull that out, and then you do that. You rinse out the stuff in there, and then th this other layer right here. You just grab these two. You just. You just grab these two like this and pull it out. And then that's where your sponge and, yeah, that's where your sponge is and stuff. That's the me um, mechanical filtration right there. Um, and the sponge on this filter, unlike the AquaClear filter sp sponges, um, one side is coarse and the other side, uh, and the other side is fine for, so you, uh, you get like a double layer sponge, which is actually you know better it's supposed to be better filtration so that's good um, and then this little red dot right here um, what happens is when the um, sponge gets too clogged up or dirty and it needs to be changed or rinsed out this little red thing will pop up um, notifying you that it's time to do that um, I wish I could show you everything but like I said I, I'm holding I'm holding my phone in one hand and having the other hand to, to you know, free. So it's it, I have to, because of my disability and stuff, I have to have both hands to do this stuff because it's just easier for me that way. And I don't, I mean, I have, anyway, enough of that. Just whatever. Um, anyway, so yeah. Uh, so basically... The water in the filter comes in through the intake tube. Yeah, I need to clean this. It's kind of looking gross. Um, but anyway, the water comes in through the filter, which is the intake tube is down right there. There's the intake tube. It's actually pretty long. Yeah, it pretty much. Anyway, there's the end of it pretty much right there. And then so it comes up through the intake tube and then it goes to the sponge back there and gets filtered through the fine part and the coarse part um, and then yeah and then it comes and then it comes up over into this chamber right here through the you know whatever filtration you have in there it could be biomedia or more mechanical whichever you want you know um, and then it comes up through there and gets filtered and then it comes in t and then this little spout right here some of it some of it comes out through here and then the little like I said the gook and stuff catches onto this white piece and then um, what's left the rest of the water gets filtered through the biomedia down in this big box thing here and then it all gets flowed back into the tank by the you know the flow spout right here it goes back into the water like that all clean and pristine so, and what I didn't mention was this is actually a wet dry trickle filter. This part, that, which is why that little spout has water coming out of it. Um, but yeah, so that's how it works. And uh, like I said, it's a really great filter. I love it. It's just the noise I don't really care about. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, it's, I mean, again, listen to it. You know, yeah, so it's just like a really low hum, so it's not, it's not, you know, overwhelming, and you know, it's not like the, the previous fluval I had, which was so loud I could hear it over the TV, but now this one, with the TV, I, 
I can still hear it, but it's not as bad, so I can I can stand it. Um, so yeah, but uh, other than that, it's really great. I love it. It's a really nice filter. I do highly recommend it. Um, like I said, if you can get past the noise, or if you happen to get lucky and get a silent one, which I don't know how you could, but anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Sorry this video was so long. I Sorry I rambled so much. It's been a while since I've done videos, so I'm out of practice. But, um, but anyway, so yeah. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. And if you have any tips, other than what I told you I tried to make this thing quieter, please let me know. Please. And I, I yeah. Um, but anyway, oh, there's the lid. It just goes... Let me put the lid back on. Anyway, so, um... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that will be.